A new report from Elections Canada has found a huge number of errors at polling stations during the last federal election. So many errors, in fact, it works out to about 500 questionable votes per riding. Hannah Thibodeau is on that story for us in Ottawa today. 500 per riding, Hannah. Yes. That is a pretty impressive figure. That is, and they call it serious and systematic errors. This is the report. It was prepared by BC's former chief electoral officer for Elections Canada. And the review of the 2011 vote found possible irregularities in 165,000 votes right across the country. So as you mentioned, that would average about 500 per writing. The report calls them serious and systematic, mostly voters who showed up at the polls who, uh, without being registered to vote or not having the proper identification to vote. So, as I mentioned, on average, 500 voters per riding where election officials made mistakes uh, when determining whether someone actually had uh, or was eligible to vote in the 2011 election campaign. Now, the head of Elections Canada, Mark Miran, says, uh, he accepts the findings in this report and also uh, had said in the past that he wants to see an overhaul of voting in the next election campaign, uh, has see polling uh, stations restructured, better technology, and he wants to launch a pilot project in the next election. So in 2015, we'll see if he can get that done. But there seems to be quite a few problems with this uh, in the last election campaign when it comes to voter irregularities and voting at polls. Concerning information, thanks very much, Hannah. Hannah Quite Thibodeau welcome. from Ottawa. Now, one innovation Elections Canada was considering is online voting, but that plan has now been scrapped because of a lack of funding. The agency wanted to experiment with an online pilot project in a federal by-election before the 2015 general vote. It's had to drop the plan because it took an 8% budget cut this year. The head of Elections Canada now says it will try to launch the project after the next federal election.